Kalau kau peminat Eight Chapter 1 Aku tak ada, aku rasa tak ada masalah untuk kau pergi nonton Tapi kalau kau tak ada apa-apa knowledge About Eight punya film uh, Just be aware lah Korang akan rasa lagi gila Mereka datang balik, ok jom kita bunuh bedut Tu je, there's nothing Dia tak ada uh, pay off delivery Dia tak ada something memorable in the movie tau Honestly Again, Warner Brothers is desperate I'm beginning to love less the studio It's just too draggy, it's too long, too much exposition You can do exposition in movies, you can explain a lot back story But if you explain too much, you kind of like oh, You want to jadi panas, you know I want to get out of the cinema Hai, saya Faris Osman, saya dari Buzzsport TV Hai, saya Nazir daripada Screen Bite Hai, nama saya Muhammad Zafran Mazikipli daripada Zafvlog by Pure Pixels When it comes to film adaptations it's very tricky for filmmakers, you know, you have to make it exciting for both yang have not read the book and for those yang have read the book. For me, I have read the book and I find the film not exciting. The book is better. Aku hanya menonton film yang lama itu. Itu adalah salah satu film yang aku tengok masa aku kecil dan aku rasa macam, ush, seram juga film orang putih ni kan. Uh, tapi bila dia dah bawa ke zaman around 2017, 2016, uh, dia dah upgrade kan, upgrade kan environment filem tu daripada sebuah filem yang klasik kepada zaman sekarang punya genre horror. So I appreciate, I appreciate it chapter one. Dan aku hanya tengok filem saja, aku tak ada baca buku. Uh, novel aku memang tak tak baca, but I do watch the uh, see Tim Curry. Nak mula, nak mula dari mana ya? Eh? Okey lah, kalau aku suka pun Maybe uh, Casting agent yang casting pelakon-pelakon yang dah dewasa On point, totally Marvelous uh, Lepas tu Apa yang kau suka? Apa yang aku suka tentang filem ni adalah uh, Dia banyak Reminiscence of uh, Past film Daripada chapter 1 ni, dia ada banyak flashback dan cara dia orang tunjuk flashback tu is kind of nice dan membuatkan orang yang pernah menonton yang pertama akan rasa macam eh ini scene dulu yang ni scene kedua kan so aku rasa macam it's kind of like membuatkan aku ingat semula filem pertama the performance of the actors are all very good but you know to me if you have good actors but you are in a script that's just meh that's just average the entire movie just becomes average to me Untuk chapter 2 ini, uh, kita digembar-gemburkan dengan uh, dia punya screen time yang sangat panjang. Dia punya duration filem ni sangat panjang. 2 jam 45 minit. Uh, for me, I don't think it's uh, it's a good idea for a horror movie to be that long. There are many movies, scary movies, horror movies out there. They are too short, that is draggy. And this is too long, that is also draggy. But one of the signs that you know movie is draggy when uh, the audience is constantly looking at the watch and which is what I did <laughs> during watching each chapter 2 I was uh, constantly looking what time, when is it going to finish, when is it going to finish It's really a studio movie They are making a movie in a way that they have to make a movie that for those who has not seen the first film So there's a lot of flashbacks, there's a lot of uh, exposition but Sometimes you got to make a movie in hopes that the audience has already seen the first film Otherwise, it won't be a franchise film. Bill Skargat ni bagus. Tapi Pennywise boleh dibunuh. What the fuck, man? Untuk audien luar sana, Pennywise is a cosmic horror. Cosmic entity. Something yang cannot be killed. Macam Cthulhu, macam Gaigas. Benda yang benda yang based on a morally concept. Like death, evil. Benda yang tak ada physical form. And the duration of 2 hours 45 minutes is overstretched. Movie ni... Paling busuk pun kau letak 2 jam 10 minit pun dah cukup dah 2 jam hampir 3 jam weh sakit doh tak boleh So it's overstretch, totally overstretch Lagi-lagi bila the first act tu aku rasa dia draggy memang lama gila Hey kita kena berpecah Tapi bukan kita mana bawa maut, tak apa berpecah je Lagi satu, dia tak explain tau kenapa um, Bila semua tinggal tinggalkan Derry, semua lupa N Nothing Adakah itu Pennywise punya effect ke Ataupun Pennywise dah influence dekat dalam apa Derry punya silver ke, tak bagi tahu. Benda yang aku tak suka ada satu benda iaitu CGI. 
uh, aku perasan tadi karakter uh, bila dia buat flashback dia dia ambil karakter budak-budak tau. Walaupun filem tu baru lagi dalam 2 tahun tapi budak-budak membesar dengan cepat tau. Especially siapa nama budak with wolf heart. Fin Fin Wolf Heart. Fin Ah yang daripada Stranger Things tu. Dia sekarang dah kurus tau, kurus dan tinggi. Dia dia, dia dah tak serupa dengan chapter 1 nya. So aku nampak dia buat CGI dia, benda tu dan benda tu obvious. Uh, itu je kot. Aku rasa macam nampak benda tu nampak fake. With it, chapter 2 and how average it is, I don't think it will lead to a Stephen King cinematic universe. Stephen King just retire and in his home state Maine, you know, and just rip all the royalties from his books. Rating, rating untuk film 8 chapter 2 ni Zah bagi sebanyak Okay, around 2 to 3 Over 5, I will give, I will give 2.5 over 5 lah My rating for 8 is uh, 6 out of 10